Welcome, stranger. Or strangers, I don't know how they say it, but I, I like the game. Just Vlad and Gaging Gadgets did a pretty solid review of this product in terms of showcasing the design, unboxing, and what you get. Please do watch their videos to get the idea about the headset. Although, they praised it a little too much. But, let's see what you really get when you purchase a cheap, $15 budget gaming headset. Here's what I'll be focusing on. Showing the listing and details provided when buying this product. Quality of individual parts like cable, cushion, etc. My experience, bad size of this product, extensive microphone test and comparison. Eh, there might be a little thing or two more, I don't know. Okay, but you might ask, why me? Well, here's why. And here. And here, and I couldn't really keep going because, um, you know, many more are simply not with us today. Eh. Rest in peace, HSG550 and G500. Damn, that vibration was smooth. Anyways, let's do this. So first what I'm going to focus on is the things you guys can see in this video, and then I'm going to give you my experiences. You can decide to trust it or not, it's up to you. But here we go. First, the headphone weight. As you can see, these headphones actually weight quite ex extensive amount. These are the first headphones that I've had and you might like, for example, from, from these headphones, you can see they are actually a lot smaller and a lot lighter than these headphones or headset. And this has been the first headset that, uh, that I've been using for, a, I don't know, a couple of a while and simply my neck started to hurt. And obviously from the neck, my head started to hurt and that's why I decided, okay, maybe it's time to stop using these headphones because they are simply... They, they weigh too much. The thing is also, let me showcase this, if I can untangle this thing, and we're gonna talk about the cable as well. The thing is, the part from th this control module, as you can see, the cable from the headset to the control module is very small, so this thing is actually going to hang around your body, usually around the chest area, and it's also going to be pulling you down, which is gonna add extra weight to uh, the headset itself. Really quickly, here is Razer Kraken. And take a look at this control module. Look at the size of this thing and compare it to this one. The, 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 you can't even compare this. This is huge difference. I'd like to take this moment to showcase the glowing effect, if you will. So there you go. I just plugged them in and that's, that's how much they glow. I'm actually going to turn off the light in this room. So as much as I can. Check this out. And that's sort of the glowing that the headset gives you. So I'm actually going to turn it off and on. And as you can see, we have like the headset lights up. This is the microphone that I'm moving and also some other parts around the headset actually light up. So I'm going to turn on the lights again so you can see that. So these parts over here light up as well. It's a nice uh, addition to the headset and usually you're gonna play in the dark room. So it's not a big deal. They don't light up too much, but from I can see from the camera, you, I, I guess it gives you a solid idea of how much they light up. Not too much, but not too little. I'm gonna say they light up just fine, although don't expect to glow like a freaking cyborg. Let's talk about the cable. So the cable itself is wrapped in some sort of cloth, and uh, I think you get the idea. It's just, I, I don't know what this is. It's just your regular, maybe nylon cloth or something. I'm not sure exactly, but the thing is, after a while, it's gonna start to simply come undone. It's gonna, it's gonna break, it's gonna... Tear up, tear itself apart. Eventually, from usage, simply this is what happens. I have been using these for like three to four, okay, let's give it a six months. Let's say I used them for a six months period and I didn't use them longer than that. That's a hundred percent sure. This is what started happening and that's just, that's just what, it, yeah, but as you can see right here also as well. Over the time, as you use it, this is going to happen. As it drags on, on your desk, on the components, on your computer, maybe this is what's going to happen. Also, the cable itself cannot be fully uh, straightened, if you will. Look at this. It's there's always even if I try to straighten it with my hands, it's just gonna stay like that. That's because that's I don't know. I, I'm not sure exactly why that happens. It came like that, and I simply there are some points that are simply bend, and you can never straighten them fully. As you can see, there's always gonna be some crevices, some yeah. But that's just the the thing about it. However, overall, the cable just feels very strong and very, very good quality with this wrapping around it. But it, once again, as you can see, it simply never comes up straight. 
the control module, like I've just mentioned it, it's a very big control module, How, however, even like that, it's still fancy. A little too heavy for a control module, doesn't weigh that much, I guess, but still, this is how it looks like. And it's just fine control module, it has a volume uh, wheel and also mute button for the microphone and or switch. But also the other headset I have that's very small control module still has the same functions, so this could have been made much smaller. Uh, let's talk about the cushion cushion for the head what's going on what is this let me try to there we go so on their website they say how this is uh not gonna harm your skin or something like that like this head beam is skin friendly and the pads are good let's talk about the pads first okay i'm gonna say the, the cushion the pad i like it it's nice it's uh comfortable i want to say but this is what happens i think they have something on their website about if you pull this it's not gonna break it's not gonna come apart well, that is true if you pull this like this, it's simply not going to come apart. But if you pull the orange stuff, look at that. It's peeling like freaking... Oh, look at this. It's peeling like a banana. That's that, This is what you have. Look at that. It's literally peeling like a banana. Look at this. Like, so easy to peel off. And this started happening after, I'm going to say, three to four months of usage. I'm hoping somebody else comes along in the comments and uh, can attest to this. But this is horrible. Also, after the orange peels off... You're left with this white stuff that's sort of like a... It's, it's very dusty. It's sort of like a flower, if you will. Uh, what am I going to do with this? Make some bread? Look at this. Watch this. Look. I think you can see how it's simply... Uh, yep, that's what's happening. It's basically sanding itself. Look at this. So yeah, after orange stuff comes undone, you're pretty much uh, not going to use these because your hair is going to turn white from this. And you're going to walk around the city and people are going to ask you, what the hell you been smoking, man? What is that? Somebody pooped on you, so very embarrassing. It actually happened to me, I was like, what is this white stuff on me? And then I figured out it's because of this headset. But this is simply what starts to happen. Now the audio jacks, let's talk about those. They say they are gold-plated on their website. Let me try to zoom this in. And that's actually truth. They do seem like they are gold-plated, and the gold plating is actually going to make them uh, last longer, and it's going to be better quality overall. It's not going to rust or anything like that, so simply better quality if it's gold-plated, and this is very good. Now, the listing states that you can bend these headsets, and you, do, you, you can bend them, but I'm not going to obviously bend them as much as they do. This is as much as I'm going to bend it in, in its lifetime anyways. So really, as I'm gaming, I don't need to bend them that much, and they are actually pretty flexible. As you can see, bendable, they do work nice, and they, that's just fine. Let's do a ear pad test, I guess. Uh, let's test the ear pods. Let's pull them out first. So they say if you pull this, it's not gonna, uh, it's not gonna like uh, come undone. But here's, I'm just gonna put my finger like this and pull. And as you can see, it's actually not coming apart. Okay, I was expecting this to come apart because I did see it untangled, but it's not. Let me try. Oh, oh, look at that. Actually, it's not coming apart. Okay, look at this design. Oh my gosh. So basically, there are clips, as you can see, that this is hooked with. So I gotta put it to the other side, and basically pull, and oh, there we go, I took it apart. So basically that's because there are actual clips that this thing hooks up, and now you can actually take them off, as you can see, but I'm not gonna do that. So the truth is, if you do pull these off, if you try to pull them off, they're not gonna come undone. This is actually solid design. But let's talk about the pads, the quality of the, uh, like I've said, the head beam cushion is actually very nice and uh, is soft, pretty soft. And it's going to be very comfortable. As far as the ears go, it's also very soft. But when you get it to this point, I can feel that there is something uh, very sturdy, I guess, very hard inside. So I guess that's the plastic that we have seen when I pulled it off. They might get a little uncomfortable because your ears are going to rest here. And this actually is a little hard because this is underneath. It's obviously plastic. And uh, that might actually aggravate your ears a little bit. It might hurt a little bit. It happened to me, so that's one thing. However, still do pay, do be careful about it. I'd like to show you the these ones, the Razer Kraken. They are actually, I think, much deeper than these ones. Okay, so let's see. It's like right here. Yeah, they are they are a little deeper, as you can see, that much, like this part, because your ears are actually a little hard towards the end. This just makes them hurt a little bit. Let's take a look at the design material really quickly. Over here they state that this is metal. But this is not metal, this is sort of a chrome plating and uh, it's simply plastic. It's not... There's no metal there at all. So nothing. 
nothing is metal on this headset everything's pretty much plastic so guys that's it all i'm left with to do here is actually tell you my uh, experience with the sound quality and then give you the mic test so as far as the sound quality and i'm just going to talk overall a little bit about the quality of the headset honestly i like them um just the way they look i really do like them however the design there are some design flaws as you can see if somehow these get fixed i would love to use these if they were a little uh if they weighted a little less so if they were a little lighter i would love to use i would have used these uh but uh, yeah it's simply just from the design perspective i really like to see them in my room so that's why i hang them at one place however i'll have to figure out how to hide this maybe i'll put some layering on top of this I don't know I'll figure something out um, now the sound quality a lot of people praise the sound quality I wouldn't say these sound that good uh, because it, I don't know I could try to give you like a comparison of my voice and how I hear these headphones how they sound to me when I use them but honestly you'll have to purchase these to really uh, see or hear for yourself to me they sound like I don't know, like a so like a music or sound is coming from a dumpster, from some sort of well. There is sort of a hollowness, hollow, hollow. They are hollow sounding, pretty much. That's what I'm trying to say. There is some some type of uh, emptiness to them. Like like there's a hole in the sound. I don't know how to explain it differently. But if you've used a bunch of headsets like I have, you just get a good f you get you get a feel for how the sound should sound, like normal, clear, and just yeah normal but these sound like they like a sound has a hole they don't really sound that good to me honestly as a gift i guess they would be just fine but other than that yeah this is just sort of below average also the microphone test i'm gonna give you the test but i'll also talk about the quality itself i'm gonna say that the microphone actually surprised me a little bit it does have a lot of noise to it but if you can fix that somehow using noise cancellation or something, it sounds actually just solid. I'll, I'll give you like a comparison, I guess you'll be able to hear. So guys, here I am using Koshin G2000 microphone. Actually, at the moment, I have it placed in the standing position. I'm going to lower it close to my mouth right now. So there it is. Now it's lowered to my mouth. I just want to show you the settings that I have. Uh, selected here as you can see once again the pure signal no modifications whatsoever the same settings just like the Razer Kraken so you once again get a really good comparison of the sound of this microphone uh, you can't really bend it close to your mouth because the microphone is plastic this is as close as it gets to your mouth I mean I'm, I'm actually gonna take off the headset off of my head right now and I'll place the microphone close to my mouth so you get the comparison of just how a uh, better microphone sounds or, or I also I, I sound louder when the microphone is placed close to your mouth and you can talk I, I think you can hear how there's probably less um, like a uh, noise in the background and the sound is simply purer if you will but sadly you cannot bend the microphone close as I have it right now I basically took off the headset off of my head but now if I just place it back once again you can hear the difference uh, because the microphone is not that close to my mouth anymore so here's a little section for you guys that like to use noise cancellation effects I'm using audacity and, and I'm gonna use the effect that's called noise reduction to basically analyze the noise that's why I was quiet at the beginning and then use that noise profile to basically delete all the noise throughout the recording so you get the idea of how the recording is gonna sound right now the microphone is just in normal down position close to my mouth I'm actually gonna take off the headset off of my head right now and just place the microphone close to my mouth and then talk and you can also compare how how does it sound once you use the noise cancellation and you sort of take the headset off of your head now I'm actually gonna try to place the headset on my neck and uh, just have the microphone in that position but I don't think that's the valid I, I don't think that's even uh, good idea because most of you guys are not going to play games with your headset around your neck so i think that just having it right now that i, I placed it on my head i think that's the best uh, sort of result you can hope for if you're looking to simply clean the noise from your audio through using audacity for example you get something like this and now finally inside the settings on windows you actually have a sort of voice real exp i don't know what that is but you do have similar settings sometimes there's real text some some cancellation effects i actually turned on noise suppression and acoustic echo cancellation these are real-time effects you don't have to edit anything in editing software so you can get the idea of what you can get if you turn these on 
and uh, maybe oh, I'm sorry I bumped my mic but maybe you are satisfied with these results still I wanted to show you the, res the results basically so this is the recording of Razer Kraken and I'm actually gonna give you the settings so really quickly so you can see I'm using the pure signal I'm not using any effects enhancements or whatsoever just a normal signal so we can have a good comparison also I placed Razer Kraken close to my mouth but on the same distance that Caution G2000 is placed at so you get a fairly good idea of the comparison of the audio quality so guys here I am recording with Razer Kraken microphone and I'm quickly going to show you what settings I have turned on as you can see noise suppression and echo cancellation is on I'm actually going to turn it off right now both of these so again you get the comparison of this headset microphone with the Koshin each uh, microphone so that's those are the settings also throughout this video you're gonna have me uh, give you the comparison side by side sort of so one second you're gonna hear Koshin each the other second is gonna be this microphone and then third option is also going to be my microphone that I use which is the studio so all of that is gonna be there and here I am recording with my microphone that I use every day in all of my YouTube videos. It's called Behringer C1U microphone. It's a studio type of condenser microphone. You can Google this if you want to find out exactly what it is. And uh, it cost me about $80 at the time. So far, it's, in my opinion, it's pretty good. And I'm not using any audio effects as you can see because there are no audio effects to be used this is just a pure signal as clear as it gets no need for any effects and uh, the distance that I'm away from the microphone is about 15 centimeters that would be your normal uh, distance for any headset microphone uh, the decision to do this is I wanted to give you guys a good comparison so you can actually have sort of a contrast and hear a contrast between these microphones and so you can sort of a, have the idea of exactly what you're getting so that's pretty much it thanks for listening so here's the comparison side by side this is Koshin G2000 uh, so let's just talk a little bit so you get the feeling and now let's switch to Razer Kraken version 2 Pro so this is how the microphone sounds it's normally placed away from my mouth just like Koshin G2000 thousand about 15 centimeters and uh, I'm, I'm again I'm not using any effects and I'm just speaking normally as I would and that's pretty much it Behringer C1U so this is my microphone that I use every day like I've said and I also have it placed about 15 centimeters away from my mouth and I'm not using any effects so hope, you, hope once again you are getting a solid uh, idea of how the quality is I'm also trying to speak in the same tone as I have with all the other headsets so I hope it's giving you a good idea so let's just go back to... And now we're back to Koshin G2000. Uh, well, I mean, you, I think you get the idea of how this sounds. I have it normally placed on my head. And one more time, just back to Razer Kraken Pro version 2. And yeah, I hope you are getting a good idea of how each microphone sounds and what you can expect. Overall, the product with these flaws and the quality itself, I'm gonna say for the most part it's passable and I'm saying that with all respect because I would love to use these, I just love the way they look, they, they have the light and everything, they look futuristic and it's awesome, I love it, however, even though I like it, I wouldn't really recommend you to purchase these, maybe gift them to somebody that's gonna use them for a short amount of time. Uh, but if you're going to use these for extensive gaming sessions for, I don't know, let's say like 3, 4, 5 hours per day, your ears might start to hurt, your neck is going to hurt because these weight a lot. I'm actually very sad that it, the, that's how they turned out. I would have loved to have them, to, to use them on daily basis, just because even though the, the quality is ah, questionable, but just the fancy look and everything. Also, one more thing to mention is... Uh, these, th this is how the jacks look like. If you want to use this with some sort of a, I don't know, gaming console, you're probably going to need an adapter as well. Nowadays, they ship these with an adapter, but back in the day when I bought this, like three years ago maybe, they didn't ship this with an adapter or anything. But overall, that's what I think about them. I just wish that I would have liked, I, you know, that they were better. I want to like them, but simply staying truthful and honest, uh, this might be the product you personally would probably need to stay away from just based on what my experience but still everybody maybe has different experience maybe this is just me so i'm going to leave you guys here with this video thank you so much for tuning in please do consider rating the video and maybe subscribing to the channel if you want to see more reviews more honest reviews like this and that's going to be it i'm going to sign out now thanks for watching i'm out 
Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act